Hi, everybody. I am just continuing to work on my week 47 of my um, art mythos collages. Um, this is number two for week 47. And so I was looking at this background. Um, I had quite a few of them. I used quite a few of them already in past weeks. I think this is the last like this, like a shimmery um, negative space on a black positive space coming through. Um, I really like it, but I also like how it plays off um, behind this. So I'm thinking maybe I'll just trim it down just a tiny bit. And I don't have my little ruler, like my little metal ruler here, but I have my big one. So I'm going to just maybe a quarter of an inch all the way around. And I like the jagged edge, just to let a little bit more come through. Um, little bit more of the background come through. Um, I, you know, there was a time when I was thinking, no, I really like these. I don't really use them. The thing is, is, you know, some of the stuff that I have, I can photocopy it and it works well as a photocopy. And then I can keep my original, but these guys, they're metallic. And so there's a couple of ways that I can, I've learned that I can get around that, you know, photocopying and then the metallic gets somewhat lost. But I, you know, I have a stencil. I cut this stencil out of Tyvek. I have the paints. I have the paper. I can just make more. So I'm not going to worry too much about saving it. I feel like I want a little bit more to show through. But if I do, it's going to look like that and like that. It, it's better just to keep it. Yeah, it's better just to keep it like this. So... I'm going to tack it down. Oops, moved a little bit. I like to center it. I don't, I like to have, like this background is a little off center from what's on top, the lower layer. The image is a little off center and I'm fine with that. I tend to like to put things in the middle but have like some movement that's offsetting the balance. So um, hopefully that comes through, but it might not. It might not translate the way I think it's translating, but hopefully it does. Um, I have a lot of butterflies. I have a lot of butterfly images that I, that I wanted, that I cut and I, thought I would use them a lot and I want to use them, but I have also so many other images. So I'm just kind of seeing what I can do here to make it interesting. I don't know, it feels like that's kind of, we'll see. I mean, it doesn't hurt just to try these things. You know, I'm just playing around. I'm just experimenting. I'm not trying to create um, something. I don't have an idea that I'm trying to, you know, um, make come to life necessarily. I'm just kind of practicing and playing and trying to, um, use my intuition, develop my intuition as I work. And so I feel like it's okay to leave this the way that it is. I still feel like maybe, maybe a little bit more off the edge, maybe a little bit more.
Let's see what happens. Maybe not right on the line. Like I had it really lined up and I didn't really feel like that worked. Maybe kind of off a little bit, like maybe like that. Maybe a little lower because it feels like it's competing with the ink blot. Mm, I really want to use it, but I'm not sure that it's working. Let me see. Maybe there is. I have some. I have some more um, kind of organic architectural type images, and I have some more butterflies. So I don't know what I will find, but let me see. Too much the same, blends in. Smaller element maybe. Maybe a smaller element and I feel like there's a lot going on with the ink blot, and so maybe this isn't like the best choice of stuff to put in there. Maybe Like I like that, and maybe I'll move it up. No, maybe I'll move it up a little bit. I'm going to go for it. I'm just going to glue it down. Glue it down, and then I have a thought that I want to um, trim it at the edge of the leaf. So I'm going to do that. So I always end up, and not always, but you know, it's you know, I'm not, I don't have a plan. So when I put these things down, I'm always glad that I just tack down my images. Sorry, you can't see them. I just tacked down my images because I'm still trying to figure out what I want to do with all the little elements that I'm using. And so it's good that I leave it tacked down and then I can go in and change little, you know, layer, add layers underneath because sometimes I, I decide I'm going to put things underneath the layer that I have and it works just to it works just to keep it um lightly tacked down makes it more of a flexible process okay so it doesn't have as much pop underneath, but I like that it kind of helps it end. So maybe I'll put like something underneath that will help it pop a little bit more. Maybe, I don't know that it'll help, but we'll see. I don't 
know that I like that. Let's see, that's the gold part. Mm, maybe. Maybe. Let's see. This goes there. No. Don't want to use that. I just took that off. Okay. Maybe something like that. I don't know. Maybe something like that. I always feel like this is like a little crown or something. When I put it on, like I'm crowning the piece. It's just my imagination. But that's kind of, it's not really like I planned it. It's just when I put it on there, I always feel like I'm, I'm adding a little crown. Like it's, I don't know, just an impression that I get. So let's see, I'm going to Press this down. Okay, and feel like that's working. Oh yeah, what else was I gonna do? I was gonna do that. I was thinking about it. Um, too much the same. Mm, too horizontal. Maybe. Mm, that might work. It kind of breaks it up a little bit. But, um, maybe something like this would work. Maybe that will work. So I wanted to use these um, ink blots, as you know, and I've been using butterflies and I wanted to use the leaves. Um, you know, I wanted to use these guys as well. So I don't know, it might seem like a lot, but maybe not. Maybe it'll work. I feel like that might work. And I just, I don't know about this. I feel like it's still too much horizontal going on, but maybe that will work. So this was just an ink blot that I made with, um, you know, a found object, like a, a piece of styrofoam that I found and um, came as part of some packaging. I don't remember what it was but it came as part of some packaging and I decided to play around with it as far as a stamp and I like it. So I put the ink on the stamp and then I um, kind of flip it over real quick, but it, because of whatever textures in, you know, on it, it, um, because of the texture that's on the, um, the piece of styrofoam, it doesn't run off very easily. So 
I think maybe that. We're just gonna go for it. And it's it's a challenge for me to this may seem like I'm I'm trying I feel like I'm trying to rush the process and I'm really not trying to rush. I'm just trying to not let myself think about it too much. Even though I'm talking about the process and you hear me thinking, <laughs> you hear what I'm thinking. Um, I also feel like it sounds like I'm just kind of, like I say, rushing it, rushing the process. And I really don't want to rush the process. I'm just trying to get out of my head about it. So that's what you're witnessing here when you see me do that. And I think I'm gonna leave it. I feel like I could still put something down here and I'm gonna let myself have permission to add that later if I, if I want to, if I decide to. I'm gonna add it later. but I feel like it might be better to leave it off. So I'm gonna leave this loose a little bit and tuck it down a tiny bit more. And then I'm gonna leave this bottom part loose just for a little while until I really decide um, what I wanna do as far as the bottom, but I think it's good. I think it's good just the way it is. Um, I also have this piece of gold that I could put at the very bottom to feel like it's finished, but that's too much. I've thought about putting a little bit in the in here, but that's too much. So yeah, probably just leave it. I think I'm just gonna tuck it down now. I don't want to, um, I don't want any pieces to come loose or get you know snagged in when I kind of bundle them all up together. I just don't think I'm going to want to put anything underneath. So there we go. There is my Art Mythos Week 47 Collage Number 2 finished. And I hope you enjoyed this session. And I hope you'll join me for the next session. Have a great day.